today is a weather alert day as Tropical Storm Elsa moves north. Yep, meteorologist Byron Miranda here with your forecast. Yeah, you two are on it, and that, that storm's heading this way. So it's coming up towards us, and that's what I've been saying basically Monday. I said, I don't know, it might hit us, and it looks like it will. There is Elsa right now. You see the rotation of the counterclockwise rotation of the clouds. That is a classic tropical storm, which is unusual. It's over land, and it's maintaining its speed right now. It's 564 miles away. We could see rain with this as early, as early as tonight, say 10, 11 o'clock. Your temperatures over the ocean, very important for it to stay a tropical storm. If it went over the water, it could stay a tropical storm with 75 degree temperatures just to the south of the uh, Carolinas. But it's 68 over the city, over the Atlantic, over by us, and that means that it should dry down. But, you know, right now the Hurricane Center doesn't believe so. What I'm telling you today is we have the chance for thunderstorms ahead of this system. This is at 830. You see the magenta there. So, you know, not only are we going to see the tropical storm, but we have a chance for severe weather later this afternoon into the evening hours. Look at the spaghetti models. Remember I said the ensemble of models that tell us where the storm or where they think the storm is going to go was over New York. And you can see that we still have enough of these models indicating that it's possible that it'll hit us tonight into the morning hours. And that's why the National Hurricane Center says the Jersey Shore and Long Island have tropical storm warnings, but they haven't put the New York area in. And I disagree with that because you see the bullseye here on Elsa at 10 a.m. tomorrow on the European models. The same model I've been using since Tuesday indicating that it could hit us. Now, if it does, these things change and it'll be changing all morning on the path of it. And I'll be watching that up until 10, 10 a.m. But I'll tell you right now, it's indicating that we could pick up almost four inches of rain right in the city. That would cause some flooding. That's why we got a flash flood watch in place. And winds, they're saying winds not that bad. Gusting, you know, 30, 40 miles an hour. That remains to be seen if that happens. Bottom line is we have to prepare for this storm right now. And let's hope for the best case scenario and it misses us. But right now it does not look that way. Story number two, better temperatures are ahead. So your temperatures at this hour from Bayonne at 79, 74, Chelsea, 75, Sunnyside and 70 for Westchester, that's not great because, you know, you know if we're talking about temperatures almost at 80 that we're still going to be warm, right? No, we're going to be hot. We still have southwest winds ahead of Elsa, and that is going to increase the humidity. And so I'm going to give you your last humidity, feel like temperature, 95 Little Italy, Lodi 97, Copeg 90, Yonkers 91, Bayside 96. This is it. This is it. This is it. Then it's over. Uh, because Sunday we're going to start to see winds coming out of Canada and off the Atlantic, and that will keep the temperatures uh, where they should be and feeling much better. So we're going to see temperatures drop by Sunday into the mid to upper 70s, mid to upper 70s. The weekend looks great. We just got to get through this tropical storm warning and watches uh, that are in place. So 95 feel like today, 83 tomorrow, and then Saturday and Sunday looking good. But it looks like tomorrow morning uh, could be very wet, Marissa.